Cuban guards are getting uh, frozen uh, silver sides. Let's see how their appetite is today. Yes, violent as usual. I don't know why they do it that way, but it's always very violent. They're biting each other, they're biting each other mouths, snouts, bodies, all in the zeal of getting a fish. And I fed them pellets yesterday, I and mean, they shouldn't be all that hungry either. They still eat pellets as well, floating pellets they like. Despite their uh, bitey nature, gars are indiscriminate biters in community tanks. They tend to bite, like look at the tail on that one, wow. That's terrible. They tend to bite anything and everything. They're not bothering that uh, goldfish. As some people were worried, it would get beaten. No, the, the goldfish keeps to the bottom pretty much 100%. And the guards, they keep to the top 100%. And the guards don't bite it. At least not yet. It's been about two weeks already. Of this harmonious coexistence. Can change any day, I understand. That's why we, we watch closely. Okay, are you done? There is one more right here. What's wrong with you? Don't tell me you're not hungry. There you go. Good job. High five. On the slip on the flip side. They grew, they grew noticeably, I mean uh, the longest of them are probably about 15 inches, 16 inches even maybe. There is one smaller one that uh, worries me a little, the smallest and the, the one that eats the least is behind that, that, the gar in the front. He eats and everything, but uh, being the smallest and not as uh, zealous a feeder as his brothers and sisters, that one, he worries me a little bit. I don't know if he's got a parasite or some internal problem. Can't tell. But for now, I'm not planning to do anything about it. I'm just observing and reporting what I'm observing, that's all. That fish still is about probably 12-13 inches, everybody else is bulkier and longer.